Welcome back. In the previous video, we started a Rescript project from scratch. Now it's time to use a template. I'll run the npx create Rescript app command to start a wizard. I'll jump through the wizard steps and we'll take a look at the project structure. All right, the project is ready. Let's take a look. We get a pretty complete setup out of the box. This configuration file should look familiar to you as we saw this in the previous video. The scripts in the package.json file follow the same pattern. On top of that, we get the Tailwind and PostCSS setup and vidconfig. The source folder contains a basic application. To run the project, we'll use the same approach. We'll run the Rescript compiler in the watch mode. Then we're going to run vid, which will give us the local dev server URL. And this is the default app in the browser. This time around, our main.res file looks different, but the React developers will find these patterns familiar. Now it's a good time to explore how to create a React component in Rescript. The app.res file is a module that exposes a single React component. By convention, the components entry point is the make function. So here we can use the app component from the app module defined in the app.res file. Let's have a look at another component, button, defined in the button.res file. It is a wrapper around the button HTML element, and we can tell because of the lowercase syntax. And by the way, the React hooks are also available. Here's an interesting bit. Instead of rendering strings as they are, we need to convert a string into a JSX element by calling the react.string function. All right, let's build our demo application. As we can see, the bundle size is similar to what we can expect from create React app template or similar. I'll wrap up here. In the following video, we'll dive deeper into the language features. Stay tuned.